yesterday we did four bows. Hi, Kayla. And I matched them to a sign, my newest signs. They're all listed on Etsy. I even listed the bows because people were interested in those. Um, but while we were talking yesterday, everybody was talking about uh, bows. And I said, have you ever made a tree topper bow? And there was a lot of interest in that. So this is mine from last year. I dug it out. I had to really fluff it up. It's still a little smashed in places. But as you can see, you can keep really long tails on it and drape it down the sides. Um, good, then you're in the right place, Cynthia. We're gonna show you how to do this. Now, usually I do a lot of my bows by hand just gonna lay that on top of my embroidery machine there but when I do a tree topper I always use the Probo I cannot handle all this going on so now let me do a little explaining here usually the first thing to do is for a tree topper well first of all I'm Robin with Robin's Re3 and this is Probo the hand and if you're interested in purchasing one of these, just go to probothehand.com. It comes with this board and all the pegs. It also comes with a board that sits here with three pegs on it for your, your, um, your ribbon. You can stack them too, all right? And then it comes with all these pegs. It even comes with the little ones if you wanted to do a little bow. If you're just starting out, this is an awesome one to have because this is really easy to use once you get the hang of it and it just makes all your bows uniform in size um, really really helpful all right so this is says bf right here this is the boyfriend peg why it's called the boyfriend peg i have no clue all right and usually what they tell you to do is use 20 gauge uh, floral wire. I do not use floral wire. I don't use pipe cleaners anymore. I always use tinsel ties. So I went ahead and I'm showing you how we're gonna do this. Now what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna have three ribbons. Okay, this is a two and a half, this is a one and a half, and this is a two and a half. And what I've done is I've sandwiched the one and a half in the middle. If you guys wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. Hit that S-H-A-R-E button. <laughs> We're not allowed to say it, so I'll spell it. All right, so what you're doing is you're taking a piece of wire. Let me just open it up to show you, all right? And you're finding the middle, and then you're twisting, all right? So then what you do is you twist this around the boyfriend peg which I need it twisted a little more. There we go. All right. And then there's a little nail under here. So what you're going to do is you're going to twist the rest of this wire on the nail. And see, it's a little hard because I'm using a tinsel tie. But that, I cannot work with the floral wire. I think my, uh, thank you, Kayla. I think my fingertips are gone. <laughs> So, my hands are real slippery, so I always do it this way. All right, so you're going to keep these three together, okay? And some people don't use the center peg. I do, all right? So then you're going to go up with all three at the same time and come back down to the boyfriend peg. You're always going to come back to the boyfriend why I don't know but so then what you do is you pinch your ribbons together and you give it a twist all right because then you're going to come back up you come down here and you twist and then you go back up I'm doing this wrong. You're going to go back up and around. All right? And you're going to come back here 
and you're going to twist. Now, when you have it like that, when you've done your first two pegs, your center peg and your left peg, then you're going to take another piece of wire and you're going to put it down the center because this is just here for the purpose at the end to pull it off, okay? This second piece we're putting in here is actually going to act like a second or a third hand for you, all right? Because you're going to pull it tight and you're just going to twist once and you're going to leave it up like this because every time you come back here, you're going to twist it again. Now, I think I'm going to use the longer piece because of all the bulk. I may need the longer piece. So I've gone down through the center and come out the end here, and I'm just twisting it to hold it in place. All right? It's just easy for me that way. You can tuck it under here if you want. All right, so we've twisted, and now we're pulling again, and we're making sure all our ribbon is together. You come back to the center, and you scrunch it down, and then you twist. Now see how well that comes when I pull? This, this is the most important part. When you come back here, you don't want to get real fast with this. You don't want to get real sloppy. You just want to push it down, twist it, and pull it up. You want to keep it like taut, okay? Hi, Rachel. Welcome. Thank you, Missy. All right, so we're going to twist it again, and we're going to take these three up to the next one. Now, this, this bow is going to be huge. Now, sometimes, because you're working with three, you want to make sure you got to sometimes go back and just straighten things out. Most of the time when you're working with a pro bow, you're only working with one bow, one piece of ribbon at a time. You're not usually working with three. So this is a little awkward, okay? And most of the time when you're doing a bow, most of the time I usually have it on C or D. C, A, B, C, D, E, F. So most of the time I have it on B or C. And what I usually do is start out with my one and a half inch ribbon. I do three loops and then I go to my two and a half and usually end up with two and a half at the end. All right. The awkward part is just keeping all these lined up. So you come back here, you pinch it down and you twist it. But all along, this is your extra hand. For holding it. Okay. So we get to back here and we pinch and we twist. And then I bring my helping wire here and I pull tight upward because that's going to keep this really nice and snug down here for you. All right. So we twisted. Let's get everything back in order here. And I when any time you're going to make a bow of this size, it's really good to order ribbon like in the 50 yard, okay? I'm not sure how much ribbon this takes, but Sam's Club ribbon is the best ribbon to use on this because your Sam's Club ribbon is only going to be 698 for 50 yards. And most of it is a good quality canvas. All right, so we're going around again. So basically, you're just up and back, up and back, up and back, up and back, okay? So we're pulling it tight, and then we're going to pinch here, and we're twisting it. Now, I, you know how I am with my directional ribbon here. Um, I'm not going to be able to keep the wording the way I want it, on my bow, but this thing is going to be on top of the tree. Now, because this is going to be hanging upside down, I'm actually going to bring this around and make it into a loop. And then I could, even if I wanted to, 
add a bunch of ribbon at the bottom and put it in the direction I want it to go. Because you know I don't like it looking like it's upside down. Okay, the tails. I am using, they tell you to use 20 gauge floral wire, Cynthia, um, but I'm using tinsel tie because the floral wire always slides out of my hands. I always have a hard time holding on to it. So I always use the tinsel tie. It's easier for me to grip. That's just me personally. But see how nicely it slides on this when, when you use this? Now when you use it, if you buy one of these, I highly recommend getting the extra pegs. I didn't at the beginning and now I wished I would have, but I managed to find them when they get lost. <laughs> so I'm gonna again, pull up towards the front and twist. It just is like an extra helping hand for you. And I thought this would be a great color, color combination because you've got the red truck, which is really popular this time of year. You have the um, buffalo check, and then I have the trees that have the buffalo check on it. So I thought this would be a really cool combination. All right. And plus two, if you're using that extra wire down here, when you end up taking off the one from the boyfriend peg and the one under here, it's just going to keep it all together until you get it tied taut, nice and tight. Because you want to keep, keep going up with it. Can you, you are, thank you. You are able to see okay, right? I just want to make sure. See, it just isn't an extra hand for you. And that is the company that sells the fluff box, too. Um, so sometimes it's really good to get it all at once. It is an expensive bow maker, but if you're just starting out, it's, it's a great option, I think. And we can go back and just make a simple bow with this if you'd like, you know, if you want. Um, that way you can see how that's done because this is not your normal bow. This is a, this is a fucking tree topper. <laughs> this is one of the biggest bows you can make. Well, welcome Regina, where are you watching from? Yeah, I. these are all Sam's Club ribbon. <clears throat> now see this end is kind of going down in the right direction. I'm going to cut that. <clears throat> I'm going to do some dovetail. Oops. Because I have two different sizes here, I better do them individually. So we don't end up with a crooked. Now yesterday I just used um, the Bodabra. So if you want to go back and look at um, how we did them yesterday, you can. All right. Now, I'm just going to trim this and get it out of the way. All right. Now is where you would pull your wire off the boyfriend peg. And then you would pull your wire back out from underneath here on this little nail that's here. Okay. And then you're going to pull these tight as tight as you possibly can and twist. Okay? I can get that off of there now. 
There we go. And then it's just a matter of pulling it off. All right. Now, this is the part that you're going to need something heavy like a fluff box to work with it. My husband made this. It's just a flat piece of wood on the top, and then you've got four pieces joined together. So if you have somebody that can build stuff, they could make you one of these. They are very heavy. Most people put a handle on them. I can't find my handle. So, all right. So this is what it's gonna look like when you get to this stage. All right, now, what you're gonna do is start at the bottom and now you're gonna start separating all your ribbon, all right? So you're gonna work side to side. And these are extremely popular right now. So if you went out and got a bunch of Sam's Club ribbon and made a bunch of these and started selling them, you could do really well at Christmas time. All right, so we went over there, and now we'll come back over to here. And what you want to try and do, because I pulled the red truck out on this side, next I'm going to try and pull the Christmas trees that way. Because you want to stagger them. You can't always get them staggered, but you want to try your best to stagger them as much as possible. And by that, you can pull out different ones and put them in different directions. I'll go to the next one. If you can wrap and you can, you can tie tight with wire, you can make a tree topper. These are super simple. Okay, I got the tree. Let's put the tree over here. It's just a matter of undoing them all and fluffing it out. We're still going to have to do some fluffing at the end, too, but this is just the start of pulling it out. And really, if your tree is green, you want to kind of use other colors. You don't want to use all green. Like the one I used last year, all right, the one I made last year, these weren't all green, but look, see how everything kind of blended together? And this was all Sam's Club ribbon from last year, too. You don't, you don't cut it. You're looping. I just had a long tail at the end, but no, you don't cut, you're looping. And then you can make longer ties and attach them to the bottom. Oops, let's get this going to this side. And again, you're gonna have to pull things around and then you're going to have to get in here and open them up. And that's a matter of doing that with your hands and twisting and pulling. You were real tight when you pulled everything when it was on here. So you can really yank at this thing because it's not coming out. Let's pull this over here. Now, how's that? All right, then what you could do, because remember I told you I, I don't like my ribbon when it's not in the right direction, okay? 
I can turn these into loops, the tails I had on here, and then I can turn this over. And let's take this. Let's see what direction we got going here. All right. So what I do is, because you know I like it going in the right direction, what I can do is I can cut a really long tail. All right, let's do like a 35 inch tail. All right. So there we got 35 inches. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thought they'd really look good together. I was trying to go more for the buffalo check because we know how popular that is. And when I realized this had the buffalo check in it, I'm like, that's it. That's the combination. And believe it or not, each one has gold in it. The uh, trees are outlined in gold. This has a gold edge. And this, like the sign I made to match it, has gold throughout it too. So that should really pick up nice on the lights. All right, so we've got about 35 inches there. Now, because I want it in the right direction, what I will do is I will dovetail it at the bottom so I know which is my bottom. All right, so now I have this going down the way I want it. So what I'm gonna do, I mean, you know how we sometimes add the directional at the bottom. So I'm just adding this tail at the bottom on one side. because I've got that extra there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll dovetail these And we'll put these on the other side. We'll have them coming out the other side, the other direction. So this is my top. Nope. There's These are 50 yards. And look, there's still a lot of ribbon. This is a brand new roll. There's still a lot of ribbon on here. So you won't need 50 yards. It's just nice to have 50 yards. That, these are economical, okay? So it's gonna make your cost reasonable. You should be able to get, no lie, $50 or more for this tree topper. And it didn't cost you $50 because you didn't even use $6.98 off of each roll. But now I'm putting the other tie on here. So see, now I gotta redo this. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is these are gonna trail down the side of the tree. And you can roll them up and pull the curls down. Let me try and pull it up like this, so that'll kind of give you an idea. All right? So see, you've got all these streamers going down the tree. It's just a lot of fluffing that has to go on to get it back in place, because I mashed it. Doesn't that look beautiful? And what, it took us how many minutes? Like 15, 20 minutes, if that, to make. And then they have enough tinsel tie or you wanna make sure they have enough uh, wire to attach it to their tree because you're actually gonna put this where the star goes, okay? And look at that. You've got all that that you can hang down from the tree. 
then I would get, you know, ornaments to match the ribbon. And there you go. You got yourself a beautiful tree topper. Yep, see? And I didn't even use a full roll. So, you got your short tails here. You could get rid of those or you could bring them up and make more loops. But there you go. There's a big old tree topper for you. Now, do you want me to show you how to make a smaller bow on this before, before I, I say goodbye? They're just, I'm just moving them back to the C. You could, you could even sell these to local car dealers because you know people are, some people are out there buying cars for people for Christmas. Wouldn't you love to get a car with that big, huge bow on it? I would love the huge bow. <laughs> I'll never get a car, <laughs> so I wouldn't mind the bow. <laughs> All right, let's move it back to the, let's go to D. Because D is a fairly decent one. And I'll show you how I do it with a single ribbon as opposed to the triple. All right. All right. I'm going to start off with our black. And I'm going to leave a good sized tail on there. All right. So. I'm just saying, if you want to make some money for Christmas, you could easily make a couple bows and, and your ribbon is paid for. Okay? And 20 gauge floral wire is usually what they use, but I'm using my tinsel tie. All right? All right. So I'm going to put this up here, I'm going to dovetail it. This is the bow maker I started out on. I do not use it much anymore except for um, tree toppers. Alright, and then back to here. And then you're going to take that extra wire and go through the center loop and use this as your additional hand to hold everything in place. I'll zoom in for you. Oops, sorry. There we go. And usually I do about three loops of the one and a half. I kind of want some green in here. So I'm going to add a single, I'm going to add a green to pull the colors out. Yes, it is very good at making a uniform bow. Very good. All right, so this is going to go up here. Then I'm going to come right here. I'm going to tie it to hold it in place. I'm going to dovetail. Come back here, pinch, and twist. I think I'm going to do two more loops of the green.
And then I always put my tail up here out of the way. Okay. So next, I think I'm going to use the Christmas tree ribbon. Now, I'm going to pull enough of this off and go this way because I want my trees to be in the right direction. So, just me. Now I gotta go a little more, otherwise I won't be able to get my tail on there. I know I'm com probably confusing you and I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make sure that my my ribbon goes the way I want it to go. There. I'm just gonna crisscross it. Nope, that's gonna end up that's right, I can twist it. No. Sorry. I can twist it. I probably don't need all that. Just pretend <laughs> that it's going in the right direction. Oh, sorry. At least the tails are going. At least one's going right. that back up there. I think I'm going to add one more row of this in between these two. Just put a little bit of red and black in this angle. up out of the way and then we're gonna do this one so let me see here because this again is directional so that's how we get it kind of how we get it in the right direction. There we go. So, there. So all I did was create the bow before the loop and I got it going in the right direction. Both ways. Cool. You would figure it out eventually. Hi Jean. Welcome. watch the replay gene here's the tree topper bow we made with the pro bow there you go how big is that dear and now I'm just making a single bow on here to show everybody how it's done when I'm not using three ribbon at the same time 
Oh no. Yeah, watch the replay. Oops. All right, so I gotta take the boyfriend wire peg off top and bottom and use it now to pull tighter and twist. There we go. We should be able to watch how we fluffed it out. I need my fluff box again. I know, right? Is that not huge? Here, let me open it up. Here's the one I made last year for my tree. Yeah. Is that not huge? And you could put longer tails on here, curl them up, however you want to do it. And then here's the one made today. It's looking a little floppy right now. There we go. I got to do some more fluffing. Well, yep. That'll be really nice on somebody's tree, won't it? All right. So again, we're going to start at the bottom. And you're just going to pull it out. Yeah, I want this going this way, and this going this way. And then we had the red. And then we had the green. Yeah, if you want a uniform bow, Probo the Hand is the one to go with. And I think that bow is looking a little floppy because of the um, tinsel ties. If you've got a smaller wire, you get a closed middle. Closed better than it is now. So. There we go. I guess I'll have to go back to the wire because the wire is thinner and it closes the gap better. And that's okay. I can actually take that apart and just use the wire because I'm noticing that's leaving it kind of open and we don't want it. You can see it. So I should not have used the tinsel tie. I could always go back to pipe cleaners. There we go. Aw, thanks. All right. Your order will go out in the morning, Jean. There we go. Doesn't that look pretty? Or you know it even look nicer in this too. Where is it? I have a plaid green ribbon that would just make it pop. Yeah. This ribbon too. Look at that. I think I'm going to add another layer of that to the back.
Yep. All right. I'm going to take this off. Do I have any pipe cleaners? Actually, I think I'll just use a zip tie and then go back and take this off. That's what I'll do. I'm going to zip tie it to the side and then take off the tinsel tie and that way I can pull it in tighter because the tinsel tie is hindering it from staying nice and flat. So yeah. Too much bulk. Okay. I'm de dissecting the bow. Okay. And then I want to get this in here too. So let's get this in there. So learn from my mistakes. Don't use tinsel tie. <laughs> there we go. Just a little piece over here. I'll tell you, it doesn't go anywhere. It sure holds it in place. But it's just too bulky. I have to pull over to here. I got everything in place. Yep. There's so many combinations with this Sam's Club ribbon. Better. Much better. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Working on the bottom tails first. And then I'll work my way up to the loops. There we go. Now, this I want on the bottom and I want it over here. And then this one I want over here. So might as well go this way. There we go. Looks like a floppy old mess, don't it? <laughs> we'll get it.
it's coming. I promise. <laughs> go. Still going to need a little more fluffing. But we're good. No problem, Esther. I'm sure it has. It's been hard for everybody. All right, so there's our smaller bow. And you could take these and add these throughout the um, tree and then use your tree topper at the top. So you could have your tree topper at the... Look, it's pulling embroidery thread off my embroidery machine. Really? Oh my goodness. Jeez. Alright. So you got this at the top, and then you can have these scattered throughout the little ones. There we go. Thank you, Esther. Appreciate it. All right, so there you have the tree topper and its little tree topper. <laughs> All right, you all have a great day. I'm going to jump off because I know Dawn's, Dawn's going on too, and I didn't know she was on on Friday. All right, have a great evening, and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.